guys welcome back to 1776 or bust so you see on the table i got a bunch of um feel stripped guns on the table this is actually a vr dakota boy 32 he's doing a 15,000 subscriber giveaway i don't do too many vrs but i really like coda boy very nice guy love his channel um you know just good stuff i think i'm going to start doing a little bit more in the vr world because there are a lot of good channels out there and um, i'd like to participate a little bit more with that um even though i never win which is totally fine and uh, I just think it's a lot of good fun. So he asks a question, what are the good attributes or what are the attributes of a gun for you? Like the positives that you find in a firearm or the ideal firearm. So I thought about it and I know he kind of um, messaged me back uh, or commented back on my comment on his. He was kind of joking around saying, hmm, I wonder what you're going to pick. You know, for me, I personally don't have any revolvers and I have no interest in owning a revolver at this particular moment in time. I have striker fired guns and double single action guns as well. But um, I don't know if he meant revolver or if he meant, um, you know, what gun I was going to choose as the perfect balance of everything. But just to kind of go over some of the things that um, I would look for in a firearm that to me scream perfect or at least close to perfect in regards to the qualities and the attributes that I would want in a firearm, I would definitely say that there's many good choices out there. And um, the first thing that I look at in a gun is a, a history of reliability. I think that's extremely important with any gun you own because you want to make sure that whatever firearm you buy, whether it's your first gun or your 17th gun, it doesn't really matter. You want to make sure that it has a good track record in regards to being used in whether it's for you know personal self-protection, law enforcement, military use, whatever it might be, as long as it's been used and it's been tested and it's been you know tried and true in those avenues, then that's the type of gun that I would definitely want to own. And now there's many good options of that. Obviously, uh, the Glock is, in my opinion, one of the best in regards to its track record and its history of use. Obviously, the Sig 320 is now starting to be you know more of that go-to gun now that the uh, U.S. Army has um, you know again chosen it as its gun to be. Again, there's plenty of other guns out there, the Beretta M9s. Um, you know, I've never owned one. I don't really like them, to be honest with you. But I think reliability is definitely something that you want. And for me, reliability is always key. That's definitely, for me, the most important attribute. The second thing I look for in a handgun is basically the ergonomics. How does it actually fit in my hand? I personally don't want a gun that feels like it shouldn't be shot or it shouldn't be held, at least by me. Every gun that I own, I, I literally spend hours researching. I research its history. I research reviews to see what other people think about it. And then I go in and I, I feel the gun in my hand to see if I like the way it feels for me. Does it feel natural? Does it point naturally? These are the type of things that I look for when I, when I go to purchase any gun um, at all. Now, in regards to the you know ergonomics of a handgun, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something that has a little curve in the back that feels comfortable as soon as you put your hand on it where it feels almost like a natural grip. You know, I don't want to force myself to like something. One of the guns that I never have owned, and honestly, guys, I really have no desire to own, it's actually a 1911. Um, for whatever reason, the 1911s just never feel right in my hand. And for that reason, I really have kind of never really looked at those seriously to purchase one. You know, if I'm looking at guns today that I like ergonomically, honestly, any CZ75 feels good in the hand to me. The Styres feel excellent. The Glock 19 Gen 4s are awesome. And, uh, you know, the P10, P07, Walther PPQ, the PPS. I mean, those to me have great ergonomics for a handgun. For me, they just sit in my hand just right. I like the way they feel, which means that I'm going to be very confident when I'm shooting it. And more importantly, I'll feel confident that I'll be able to shoot it well. So for me, the first two things I look for are definitely reliability in its track record um, and its history of, of service and, of course, the ergonomics. The third thing I look for is, go, is actually the fit and finish of the gun. You know, one of the things that I like about a lot of the guns, and you can see a lot of these on the table right here, you'll notice, you know, you've got the P, uh, P320, you've got the P07 and the PPQs. I'm actually going to be cleaning them. That's why they're out here. But uh, they're, they're just great. The finish on them is excellent. Um, the SIG, I would say, has the weakest of all finishes. Um, but in my opinion, the CZ, especially the more modern ones, the P07, P09, uh, some of the other models as well that are available, have excellent finishes on them. Ultimately, 
it doesn't matter what attributes I pick because all, everyone is gonna be different. For me, these are just some of the basic three attributes I look for. I could throw in price, I could throw in these other things, but another key thing that I look for is, as the fourth and final one I'll mention is actually the aftermarket support. Now for me, obviously no one compares to Glock. Glock has the best aftermarket support out there in my opinion. Now, are there some other guns that do as well? Yes, absolutely. CZ has them, Walther has it, H&K has them, SIG has it. So there's plenty of things out there, but I definitely would like to own a gun that has very good aftermarket support. So if I wanna upgrade the sights, if I wanna holster, if I wanna do a trigger job, whatever I might wanna do on it, it'll be available for that gun. So those are the four attributes I look for. Now, if I was gonna choose one gun that in my opinion fits all of them, you know, I think a lot of people would say, I'm gonna pick the PPQ. However, this may shock many of you, and maybe it won't, but I'm actually gonna pick this one right here. In my opinion, the CZ P01 fits every single thing I mentioned. Reliability, it's, it's unmatched. It's one of the very few guns that have been able to pass the NATO testing. So in my opinion, extremely reliable in service. Um, in regards to um, the reliability of the gun, in regards to the ergonomics, it just fits perfectly in my hand. I love the CZ75 hump in the back on their compacts. It's just absolutely excellent. Um, you know, you look at the aftermarket support, there's not a tremendous amount, but you do, you do still have some options, holster options, sight options, and of course, everything else in regards to trigger jobs, these types of things, hammers, um, whatever you're looking for, you can find on CZ Custom or um, Cajun Gunworks. Now, of course, overall, what do I like about this gun the most? It, for me, it just fits everything I need for it. It's reliable, it'll take a pounding, it shoots well, it's concealable, it's durable, it's reliable, and the list goes on and on and on. So those are some of the things I'm looking for. So, uh, Coda Boy, thanks for doing the giveaway, man. I hope I win. If I don't, that's cool. Good luck to everybody who enters, and I hope you guys are having a great night. Hopefully you're staying safe out there, and as always, freedom is never free.